So the first bikes we got, the Jet Generate versus the Jet Block. Neither of these bikes are core BMX bikes. And it's pretty sad that they're not core, but look, which one do you guys think looks cooler? You think the Generate looks cooler with this sleek black design or the Jet Block with this flashy white and camo? When we put the bikes side by side, the Jet Generate is $349 while the Jet Block is $349. Now it's currently on sale for $299, but that price can change. So $349 for both of these bikes, neither one is going to win. Now the Generate weighs 25.54 pounds and the Jet Block weighs 25.4. So literally a tenth of a pound lighter. So the Jet Block did win, but it's not by very much. They both only come in one size option. The Jet Generate comes in two size options while the Block comes in 10. It has like a million different size or color options with different tire colors and frame colors. It's really interesting. Anyway, it has a ton of color options, so it's gonna get that point. So currently the Jet Block has two points and the Jet Generate only has one. Like I mentioned, neither of these bikes are core BMX brands and they don't have a utility factor. They're designed for you know, brand new riders who just need a bike, an affordable bike to get on, get into the sport and start riding, start testing things out. Now, these specs here is where it really comes down to it. The frame quality for both these bikes is weaker high tensile steel. This is uh, the lower quality option for bikes and, and material. So it's gonna bend and break over time. If you're a lighter rider, don't really worry about this because it's not the end of the world. The fork quality is the same, high tensile steel, bar quality, high tensile steel, and the rims are single wall rim. If you're serious about BMX, you wanna get a, a double wall rim because they're gonna hold up a lot better to big drops and big gaps. Neither of these bikes have that double wall rim, so nobody won the points there. And in terms of aftermarket parts, nobody had any aftermarket parts. Things start to vary a little bit because the Jet Generate is slightly, and I mean slightly, just barely better quality. And I think it came down to just like one bearing on the Generate was sealed and one bearing on the Jet Block was left unsealed. So just a teeny tiny bit more quality and the Jet Generate ended up winning the quality section. So that's one point for the Generate and two points for the block. And then when we look at the value factor, because of that sale, $299 price tag, the Jet Block is gonna be the better value bike. It scored a 4.68 while the Generate only scored a four. So the Jet Block is slightly better. And so that puts the Jet Generate at one point while the Jet Block has three points. And so obviously the Jet Block is going to be the winner here because it's got more color options, it's a little bit lighter, and it's got a better value factor if you get it for that $299 price tag. The Jet Generate has slightly better quality, but that's not enough to win. Generate is gonna be kicked out of the bracket. The Jet Block moves on and we'll be facing the Colt Access a little bit later on here. So that was the Jet Block versus the Jet Generate. And I've gotta ask you a question. Do you agree with my decision to move the Jet Block into the next round or should the Jet Generate have won even though the value factor wasn't the same? Let me know, I'm really curious to hear from you. And don't forget to check out the full in-length video, the full length video with all 12 of these bikes reviewed. That way you can make the smartest decision. And I also have a five to $600 bracket. These bikes are, the, the five to $600 bikes are so much more interesting. I'll throw those up on the end of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.